On August 28, 1987, the legendary film director and writer John Huston passed away while working on a film in Newport, Rhode Island. He will be remembered for his unique style and his brilliant craftsmanship. I, I, put, I put into practice unconsciously things that, that um, I know, uh, how to compose the screen. As, as one, as a painter would compose a canvas. John Huston leaves behind a remarkable collection of over 35 films, including The Maltese Falcon and The Man Who Would Be King, starring Michael Caine. A really, really great movie director and a great, great person. He's an incredible guy, a very funny and, and a great friend. It's to my father's credit that he always comes up with something brilliant and surprising, and I think he hasn't let us down here. He's Tom Logan, assistant DA. I like the way he moves. She's Laura J. Kelly, a creative defense attorney. She once tried to put a dog on the witness stand. Interesting. And when Daryl Hannah's caught in a web of art fraud and murder. Chelsea Dearden, you're under arrest for the murder of Victor Taft. They're the counsel for defense. I personally will be taking charge of this case from now on. It's the beginning of an unbeatable team. Does defense wish to engage in oral argument? Yes, we don't, we Your do. Honor. Which is it? <laughs> no, we don't. Of course. No, we don't. You guys are really a great team. You ready to do some tap dancing? Don't. Don't even say it. Don't even think it. If we go through that door, it's called breaking and entering. No, it's not breaking. It's just entering. There's no log in entering. An open door is practically an invitation. <laughs> we really shook him up in there. All right, can we get down to basics now? The case? It's a case of attraction. Robert Redford and Deborah Winger in Legal Eagles. Premieres Tuesday. See it first on HBO. Are you concerned about the food you buy and eat? Are you poisoning yourself with sulfites and sugar substitutes? Are natural cereals really healthier? Is that frequent dieting helping? What about caffeine, decaffeinated coffee, and those fancy bottles of spring water? Are we taking food for granted? Take time and look at the danger signals facing you in Warning, Food May Be Hazardous to Your Health, a timely and revealing report. Premiering Monday, September 7th on HBO. If the question is about celebrities, the answer can be found on HBO Q&A. Kevin Costner stars in American Flyers this month on HBO. He's best known for playing strong, dramatic roles, but has he ever considered comedy? Yeah, I th the next picture I s thought that I signed for, I think the deal might have blew up today. I sort of got, got a phone call and said, well, they're not going to do it now. Had, it was, was of a comedy vein. Although it was very poignant, you know, I mean, you understood the people, but it had comedic situations. And so, you know, I was going to do that. I still might. I'm sure it'll patch together, but I, to say it now would be kind of uh, jumping the gun a little bit. Phil Collins takes the stage for the second annual Prince's Trust concert next month on HBO. He's played with many different performers. Which was his most memorable? I played with George Harrison on, I did a session on All Things Must Pass years ago. But it never came out on the record. But I did. I, I they did lots of different versions of different songs, and I was on one of the versions. And it's a memory that I will hold with me till I die. I think this memory of me and Ringo and George and Morris Gibb and uh, Bad Finger and all these people. It was a wonderful moment for a 16-year-old. Don Johnson's Heartbeat video returns to HBO on August 31st. He's one of television's most popular leading men. But how did he get his start in show business? I always remember being able to sing and. Um, and uh, the, the, my aunts and uh, the other sisters in the church taught me how to sing harmonies, and, um, and it was something that just came naturally to me. And uh, uh, my uncles, uh, by the same token, used to take me out uh, on uh, uh, hanging out on Fridays and Saturday nights, because I'd get up and I'd sing in the little uh, roadside diners and cafes, and they'd give us uh, pie and cake and stuff like that, you know. And, and they thought that was real cute, and hell, I thought that's the way you uh, got pie and cake for the longest time. <laughs> this is HBO Q&A. Five men are sworn to avenge the Munich Olympic massacre. To terrorists, they are a deadly threat. And to Israel. They are the Sword of Gideon. There are seven men on your list. Each one of them is responsible for the death of innocent people. They're forcing our sons to become killers. 
I've done what I was asked to do, and now I quit. I think you can quit? We keep taking an eye for an eye like this, pretty soon the whole world will be blind. No! In God's name! From HBO Pictures, Stephen Bauer, Michael York, Rod Steiger, and Colleen Dewhurst, a film that cannot be ignored. That's for me. Sword of Gideon, tonight. Set your VCR for an exciting evening of adventure, suspense, and drama tonight. Four HBO pictures back to back all night long. In World War II, basically the guys went over as units. They came back as units. They won the war. Everyone celebrated with them. In our war, we went over alone. We took our R&R &R alone. We came home alone. I'm tired of falling on my ass in the mud and waiting for somebody to kill me. The voices of the Viet Cong screaming and hollering back and forth to each other while they were shooting at you. Man, it still sticks in my mind. Can I just hear a click? It's not me. It's me. I don't think I realized just how young and immature everyone was until long after the war was over, at least for me. I didn't trade my leg for a medal. I lost it. Helping some buddies. I was on reflection and I saw all this wasted youth. I put in for the field. My top sergeant, my XO, won't approve it. I was afraid of uh, seeing my buddies die. You're just about this far from a court martial. Oh, oh yeah? Well, what are they going to do, huh? Hey, Send me lot. back to oh, oh, Is that right what they're going to do? HBO Showcase presents a trilogy of war stories inspired by the true experiences of Vietnam vets. Tonight on HBO. They were young, they were brave. <sighs> Decent men. And I still miss him very much. The best in television. Nobody brings it home like HBO.